Really? So you love him? I bought a ring. You bought a ring at the, at the store? All that shit? You're fucking your fucking in the same thoughts? So you're leaving tonight? You're getting your shit? You're going back to the car. Done deal. Done deal. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Don't play stupid. You know, I've. We and Robbie actually talked today. You don't know that, did you? We actually talked. Why there are multiple charges on our joint account to only f Do you want to explain? The weirdest thing happened today. I was in Ikea shopping, getting some furniture. Get to the till, waited for ages. Go to pay. Card declines. This is so embarrassing in front of everyone. And I'm like, oh, I swear there's money in the account. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, everything's fine. So I'm like, what? Had to leave everything. It was so embarrassing. Get home. And then I look and see that I've got an email from the bank. And it said that something about like, my card being declined, fraudulent activity, multiple transactions, something anyway. So I call up the bank and I'm like, hey, can you send me a statement, please? So I can just like see what's going on. Why don't sperm donors have to pay child support? Back in 2018, I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I wanted kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, just give me, you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. Are you over there? Because you know you fumbling with the mic, you know? I'll get you set up. Hey, hey, all this rumbling. Over here. I'll get you set up. Yeah. Damn. I'm all right. I'm all right now. This your podcast, this man. This your podcast. I mean. The building. Guess who's Bazak? Still selling crack in my clothes. Don't what? Don't let me relapse on these hoes. Don't get relapsed <laughs> on. <laughs> Oh y'all, let me put let me let me, let me, let me, let me put the can. Look, look at her over there. Look at her over there. She working that mic. That mic about to drop any minute. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's not cooperating with me today. I think because it misses me, so you know, I don't know. Like You gotta let's you you gotta cup it. You gotta cup oh. it. Oh. got cut it. Yeah, grab it by the back. Oh. <laughs> Why <Whoa>. you <laughs> Yeah, you got grab out of back. Oh wow! Turn off. So you know what? This is what happens seconds. when we get a week yeah. off. Lowe's don't know how to act. He don't know how to act. Yeah, look, yeah. So you got grab out of back. Oh then, whoa! If, if it was ever that large to grab, it would look like that. Damn! We try to get it. Let's see YouTube. She said no, did it. <laughs> Yes, Diddy. <laughs> yes, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> you all right over there? We good? I'm good. I'm good. You need me to come over there and help you tighten it? No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What the hell is wrong with him? Like, he's so, Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Yes. The business is weaving in here, y'all. <sighs> Oh man, this is your podcast. I try to be an angel, and then you know the devil just comes out of nowhere. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> you hear over there talking hey, that smack, <laughs> who, in, who in the bed? Quick! Quick! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. In the building, we appreciate the love. Ooh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, Los right here. Yeah, man, and I mean my man right there. Listen, man, I'm just CJ, like I always say. I do a lot, <laughs> but I never do the most. Yes, yes. And whatever and then, does that mean? And then y'all know who that is right Miss over there. Honey Dip. That's Honey Dip. That's honey Dip. No, 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 leave that habanero That's off. Fajita. Leave that off. That is not my name. Nickname is Fajita. I am sweet. Dip. Sweet like honey. The spicy. So honey dip. That's you know, why the you name know the is new, there. You know the new honey flavors is hot honey, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you go, it's hot yeah. honey. Yeah. It, is. it ain't just the regular honey. <laughs> Look, hot. I am unique. Okay. You well, got, I'm, I'm not comparable to all that other stuff. Well, yeah, here, here, talking all that, uh, talking all that BS over there real quick. Yo, before we get started. Really? Listen, before we get started. I know you heard that song by Brand Brandon Jacobs. Is that a Brandon Jacobs? What song? Single Mom. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, you let him hit it raw. <laughs> you did not care at all. <laughs> <laughs> now you a single mom. 
<laughs> Come on, you hear that, y'all? Uh-huh. Uh, did you see the video? <laughs> yeah. He be having the pampers in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. T, tell me you it, don't. I have no look, clue. Look it up when you get a chance. Mm-hmm. Single mom. Single Yo, mom. he I is sure out of do. control. He is killing it. He <laughs> killing yeah. it on airway. He is killing it. And you know, and you know, you know the women hate it. You know they hate it. <laughs> <laughs> the one video that had me dying was when he had the girl that was crying. So I'm like, being a single mom is so freaking hard. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. And your point is. <laughs> Go on, man. Oh, he was at that car dealership. I was yeah. done. He had all them pampers. He's on top of the car. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. This Joint Podcast, man. Hey, listen. Welcome to This Joint Podcast. As usual, we got a great show for y'all tonight. Yes, sir. So we need you to please sit back, enjoy some laughs with us, watch some videos, sit your five dollar ass down before we may change. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. subscribe. (laughs) So wait a minute. uh, Well, what question you got now? What? Like you just loaded today? Like you starting off with with a bang? Go uh, ahead. Listen, listen. That's because he. Last week I was. You sick. had a week off, and now yeah. you just rejuvenated. I'm rejuvenated. Oh my and, and, lord, and, and, mercy! And I was sick and too. C- and C J was sick the prior week. Oh, so that means I'm next. Oh lord. Yeah, you I next. I don't want you to put that on yourself, but um. Y'all gonna come not. take care of me? If I'm sick. Of course. See what had happened was. Damn. <laughs> 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 hey, we gonna we gonna we gonna sing that. Y'all man, hear this? We gonna send that man Dingo Graham. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I mean, that's my medicine. Oh my Whoa. god. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you see? oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't let her get started. For every, for every action, there's a reaction. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, quick, I, I, I am laid back, quick. I'm always laid back. Listen. Yeah, okay. right. I'm I'm very laid back. That's just who I am. I'm I've always been that that guy. Just Lose is not laid back. As B.B. Yeah, right. Siegel said, I'm I am laid back. You don't think I'm laid back? No, <laughs> not at all. Damn no. you! <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> I'm that guy. Listen, I'm that guy in the club. I be trying to look cool. This shit ain't working. Exactly. <laughs> this shit ain't working. <laughs> Time to turn up. Time to turn up, baby. <laughs> I'm that guy. He, he turns to the okay, incredible hall. Okay, but not to ever go nowhere with you. What? Yes. Not man, we dancing ever. all night. God. We dancing all night, man. That's all you doing is dancing. Yeah, and drinking. And then what after the drinking? Because you know what drinking leads to. <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. Exactly. <laughs> 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 ain't that what y'all say? Shooting up the club? Shooting Whoa, up the club. No, no, no. That ain't no gunshots. No, no shooting up the club. <laughs> Mm-mm. Uh, I'm, uh, I am want to be no 40-year-old with a newborn, so no shooting up nobody's club. <laughs> no. The oh. club. The, the door, club ain't yet. No, we shoot outside the club. <laughs> <laughs> we shoot the whole outside of the club. Hey, you missed. Yes, I did. You sure did. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we slide to the first bit. Let's man. go. All right. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. First, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me have a set. Because hold up, hold up, hold up. See, because TV, or T always be messing me up. I don't be messing you and up. You know what I mean? I don't be having a video set before, so. You know. And that's my fault because you like to talk crap? First of all, I got to blame somebody. Okay. Be you know. accountable for your actions. Blame it on the and rain. Got to blame. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blame it on the stars. All right, here we go. Here we go. The very first video. We got a guy who allegedly catches a six-hour flight and spend four thousand dollars to meet a woman in another city. Come on, hey. Yeah, there. And this is how it played out. Peanut, kick it off for us. It's this strong podcast. Oh. Let's go. Bro, what was the point of you even responding? You just supposed to do lame shit like this for, bro. I met this girl two months ago inside Miami, bro. I took a six-hour flight, bro. I'm inside her hotel room, bro. I'm inside my hotel room. I booked the whole room, booked the flight, booked everything, bro. I get inside the city, bro. This dumb, bro, she not even responding, bro. I've been here for two days, two days, bro. I, I, I booked this hotel for a whole week, bro. I spent money, a flight, everything, bro. She ain't even responding, bro. It got to the point I'm, I'm sleeping on two bands trying to make me feel better and shit like that, bro. 
And I just don't get the point, bro. It's like, bro, it's pointless, bro. Why was the point of you making me even come this far, bro? If it wasn't even for the like, if you was gonna be on games, I could have stayed inside Miami, bro. You got me waiting inside California for no reason, bro. For no reason at all. You feel me? Like, what was the point of you even acting like you was for the respond, bro? You we made these plans. I get inside town, you just fully ghost me, bro. What's the point of that shit, bro? I'm done crying, bro, and I'm done doing this with females, bro. This is why I say meeting girls in Miami for spring break is out the equation, bro. Like, I could have been on my lonely, bro. You came inside my life. You ain't have to fuck with me, bro. This shit crazy, bro. And, I, and I'm tired. I've been crying for two days, bro. And I'm tired of this shit. It's just sad, bro. I'm sleeping on two beds like, like I got a bunk bed or something, bro. He's a fucking fool. City, bo <laughs> Yo, uh, yeah. City boys down 5,000. We done lost 5,000 yeah, points. Bro, 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 bro. As we kept on. saying. First of all, so, if, if you've been there two days and you booked a full week, enjoy the rest of them five days because ain't no way in hell I'm sitting around in nobody's hotel waiting on somebody. He must be out of his mind. I, it's a a wait a minute, so wait a minute. He wait consented minute. to travel there. How you going to put that on her? Like, look, at the end of the day, you look, you young. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there in California he can have a good time with. Fuck it. Well, let me, let me ask. Are, are these men now really that desperate? Desperate. To be flying out to another city desperate. to be the girl that they just met. Desperate, desperate, de so again, this is, I'm not a male, this is what's, so, right, no, 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 this is what's happening, what, what, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, these guys that have so-called money, because I don't know if he has money or not, but these guys that have money to just spend it, they have lost the, 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 the like, manly, like, ego that mm -hmm. comes with just who men are, just because you got money to spend and you can fly out places, at the end of the day, everybody gets played, it happens to the best of them. The fact that you got the money to go fly out there, it, you, that obviously must have been all the money you had, and that's why you crying twice. Because if all, you got money, like no damn if you got tears. money, and she ghosted you, just go back out into the uh, to the streets and find you the next, find you a mm. replacement. Right. You sitting in there. First of all, all these dudes, these the, the younger <laughs> generation, no disrespect, but all this soft getting on camera telling your story, that ain't never my generation. We ain't doing that. Sis didn't come through. Guess what? <laughs> There's options. <laughs> I'm back out in the streets. Back out in the street. Right. What? You know what I'm saying? Back out in the street. Ain't no way in the world. I'm not sitting yeah. and crying over no girl. I, two months? <laughs> two months? I don't even know you. Well, apparently, well, he said that he met her. He met her on spring, spring break. break. Yeah. He people on spring break. They go in there to have a good time. What makes you think that this was going to turn into something yeah. long term? He's a damn fool. I mean, listen. I mean, if 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 he would have did the one hit or quitter. Listen. Then you know, may, maybe like probably I wouldn't said, have got caught up. If you but. if you don't book that hotel for five for, for a week and you've been here two days, stop the goddamn crying and acting <laughs> like a little baby and go enjoy the rest of your five days with somebody the hell else. Look, meet a different girl every damn day. Hey, listen, my, but why shouldn't it have took him twenty four hours to notice that to, to notice that this chick because was not you know, showing up. You know why? You want to know why? Why? Because he 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 knew to this. He ain't true to this. <laughs> Cause if he was true to it, that shit that real, real, if you've been yeah. through this situation before, you you know the likelihood that you might get ghosted. I wouldn't be surprised number one, if she wasn't even responding before he left. Number one, he uh, he could have got ghosted because maybe she was nervous, like oh, I don't know him. Like you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you already yeah. thinking like that as a guy, like all right, she could stand me up. So guess what? I'm gonna already have a plan B. Like like my, like my sister said, he lucky that he got ghosted because Philly girls would have lined him up, and then he would he really would have been he really would have been in the jam. So it's like. You could tell he knew to this. He ain't true to this. Cause real, real players, they would have kept it player. It's right. like, all right, yeah. she listen. Yeah. She, she ain't come through. Next, let me yeah. go back out on the strip and get back into the game. I like, think he just wants some attention. That's fine. So. Well, I mean, but listen, we all know that most of these videos are staged and phony. I mean, it's, it's, it's give us some great topics to yes, talk about. Yes, we appreciate it. You know what I mean? But as, as, a, as a man, as a smart man, what if, if he was going to another city to visit a, a, a girl? That he probably just met he on said spring two break. Months. He should have had some lined up already yep. where he should have had another girl in that city. So if just in case that didn't fall through, he had and a little backup so, plan. And even if he didn't have another girl, it's so many other people there. Just enjoy yourself. You can yeah, go the hell I, outside out and town. meet so many people. Like, what and the hell? Listen, Why are you just sitting there 
like you know waiting on one person. The minute the plane landed and we on, we ain't even get to the, the <laughs> hub yet. We on the tarmac. You crack it. I'm calling her. <laughs> yeah. She don't answer. Okay, let me see who on the plane that could, 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 could come. You know, give me a little massage or something on the way to. Look, I'm, I'm scoping everything. I'm not waiting. I'm not putting all my eggs in the basket exactly. for some girl that lives in a whole nother city. If I came to see you and you were not being attentive from the rip, guess what? I'm I'm scoping there. I'm I'm hitting the girls that work at the Chickie and Pizza in the airport. And he probably didn't I'm, even give it enough time. Look, look, Two months on, is not on, enough look, time. He, he up in there, man. I'm on the like, POF. Listen. Look, what was what was the intention in going? So okay, you only know her for two months. That's still not enough time. You only know her two months. So what was the plan? What was the plan? That's what I know I what my know. plan was. Can I get to the yams? <laughs> Sweet <laughs> yams. Like, you tripping. I'm not doing, I'm not putting all my eggs in that basket. Again, I'm talking to the to, to the, the girls on the plane. I'm mm -hmm, talking to the mm -hmm. baggage handler. I'm the girls that work at Chicken and Pete's in the airport. And don't let my Uber, Uber driver be fine. She's getting it too. I'm coming there. <laughs> Everybody, I don't have nothing to lose. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, you know. Look, yeah. let me get your number. Yeah, you're going to be my person. Personal, my yep. personal. <laughs> I've done it before. Uh -huh. Look, we already know. I'm calling we already know. Stay ready, get ready over Listen. here. Exactly. Listen, you, you, you gonna be designated tonight. Not just gonna be the designated driver. Though. <laughs> yeah. We designated for some other stuff. You got me to get this. <laughs> Um, <laughs> here we go with that. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? We're trying to keep it clean because we almost we almost monetized. I think we can squeeze at least two more of those. No, no more. That's it. That's it. No I more. Think we can squeeze no two more. more. No more. Come on. Stop. He has spoken. He is too <laughs> soft. Uh, I, it's my second time crying. What? First of all, that didn't even, like, that didn't even look like he no said, damn road tear. It looked said, like yeah. he put some water on his damn face. Yeah, come on, man. He come said, on, I'm sleeping on two beds, man. Come on, man. <laughs> He was in there. I, yeah. He was in there listening to Carl Thomas emotional, <laughs> and then opened his phone up. Let me let me let me journal this. I gotta put this in my journal because my, my feelings is hurting. <laughs> ain't no way in hell. I'm the hell in California, and I'm laying oh, in, 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 the, in the hotel room, just like, come on, no, I'm going out to have my my son and, and have a good time. Here. I done spent my money to travel here, and you better believe I'm going to enjoy it. I'm getting laid on both beds. One girl on the first bed. I'm going to clean that bed up and hit the second bed. You're tripping. <laughs> oh, you are tripping. Oh, man. This is your podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you hey, think. Hey, quick. I think you need to take back the, the comments you made about CJ. Not to say anything. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Hold it. Oh, we can hit it. We can hit it again. Whoa. Guess who's been that? No. <laughs> Still selling crack in my clothes. <laughs> Don't let T relapse on you, Joes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at her. <laughs> she looking at porn, y'all. She ain't in the chat. <laughs> she, she, on, she on OnlyFans. Y'all just don't know it. She on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> she there. She looking for the. She looking for the three sixes. <laughs> y'all always oh, have something great. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't talking about the devil. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Really, CJ? Really, CJ? I thought we was cool, CJ. We are. I'm just saying. CJ, you know. Really? You know what I mean? Really? <laughs> right, you know what I mean? What quick say back on the scene, crispy and clean. Yes. Yeah. I mean? Oh, my gosh. Shall we shout? So, what were we diving into the second video? Or, yes, we were. Or, or because we I told you this. No. We were, we were diving into the second video. <laughs> That's what we were doing. We were sure? talking about yes. Uh, uh, Honey Dip said dive to the second video. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, mama. Uh -huh. Yes. Mother has spoken. Oh, my God. Oh, uh -uh, we don't do no Dumble teaming over here, okay? <laughs> this is a, this is a, um, this is a partnership. It's no, you know. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. This is a no double team team. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's lies. Y'all be hearing how they be getting on me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. no, we, we <laughs> yes, just be, they do. We just be we just be clarifying. We just we don't we don't we don't um you know we don't mm -hmm. double team. Really? Yeah. Oh, see now, see now, quick. You hear how he got that that little low tone voice? I'm voice telling y'all, I now just he be chilling. Be, now he wanna be back at Mister. Suave. No, I'll be chilling. It's just, just that chilling. these dudes be on the internet being weird, 
and then be crying and all this other stuff. So I gotta bring and, out the like. Then he back at the. I'm just chilling. I, I am. I'm, just, I'm always. I'm just, you ain't never gonna see me on camera crying on a vacation. <laughs> I know that much. Yeah, you never gonna see that. Oh man, I'm gonna like, look, look. If I ever, which I doubt because I don't, I don't do that now. I'm, 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 I'm really much good. more, yeah, refined man. But if I if I would have ever flown to another Yo. city to see a woman, uh, oh, just believe I, I I want your address. I don't even want your address. I'm gonna make sure back page is reloaded. Yeah, POS. Um, here I come. <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, look, let's get to the video. Let's get to the second video. So this is what we got for video number two. Dude caught his wife cheating with the next dude, and this is how he took the news. <sighs> Now, man, let's see how that played out. Where's Peanut at? Where's Peanut! Peanut? Yeah. It's this drum podcast! Oh, Let's go. Like, what the fuck is going on? Really? So, you love him? I bought a ring. You bought a ring at the, at the store? All that shit? You're fucking... Don't play stupid. You know, I've me and Robbie actually talked today. You don't know that, did you? We actually talked. Had, he's been fuck you on Sundays in my oven having sex with you too. Yeah. Fuck you, Anna. You're done. Get the fuck out of my apartment. Take her, Robbie. Get her shit out of here, bitch. Line motherfucker. You just told him that you love him too, and you kissed him yesterday. I love it. Bye, lying, cheating ass bitch. Robert, you got something to say? He ain't got nothing to say. She ain't got nothing to say. She ain't got nothing to say. She's gonna, she's gonna lie, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you said, he is gonna cry in the car. He gonna cry in the yeah, car. Listen, hold up. Before I let y'all get started, did, have you? Some videos you can tell they are phony. That one, but that was no, real. That you know how real. I know that was really real? Did you peep how nervous the other dude was in the yeah. car? He tried to start a car that was already started. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't hear it. No. <laughs> That's how you know that boy was nervous. And all he did was pull the hell up. Yeah, I want to know. See, <laughs> why did the black boy run up? First of all, film. shout out, yo! I love black people. We will always be in the mix. I don't know if he knew that man or if he just saw the <laughs> saw the, the the you know the situation transpiring and said, "Listen, I got to be here." He was right in that lady face, like, "Oh, so what do you got to say?" <laughs> he just standing there, like, "Uh, uh." So shout out to him and my man. Um, I'm gonna call him Clifford. Clifford was upset. You remember that song by the guy Iman where he be like, F what I said, I don't you don't mean it now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm out. yeah. Fuck you, you hoe. I don't want you back. That's how my man was. That's how he felt in there. He was upset. He said, You get your stuff out of my apartment, you kissed her and you were testing her yesterday. He was yeah, upset. You put her right yesterday. I swear I thought he was about to start crying. Yo, so, I thought he was gonna start but crying too. Also, wait a minute. That was his wife. So he's 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 right to feel that way. Like I don't cheating. care. If, I don't care if it ain't his wife. She's a cheater. Hold on. His T emotions T are tied to his wife. That's what he's supposed to be doing. T so like. So wait. So how how do you think he should have handled it? I think he should have t spoken to her in person and not be putting her on blast. Put on blast. You know, what? I don't think I don't think that he intentionally meant for it to get caught on camera. Because remember. The the boy boy, boy rolled up with the jaw yeah, like this. So, something must have happened. The reason why that the, the black guy was filming, he started. I'm filming. not putting my business out in the street. Period. So whatever that whatever whatever happened, you know, let me just go home Orange because Jones, at the end of the correct. day, I know me. It's like okay, yeah. it's just like I go from like zero to like 100 because there's like no in between. So once I get to that point and I black the hell out. So that means Hello. that your business is going to be on the street exactly. once you black out. So which is why I said I'm Hold going to L home. Wait a minute. So you say you go from zero to 100. Real quick. Real yeah, quick. Real quick. 
So no, it, no, so no, it no, don't like so it don't take so you much to get going, huh? Hey, hey, yeah, dude. Like, no, that's that's built up. It's already wet. Yes, Let's go. Oh. <laughs> like like Quick said, it's an orange juice Jones situation. I saw you and, and him. him. Walking in the rain. He was upset. Mm -hmm. He said, Look at him. He got <laughs> you a whole day. Go ahead, go ahead, CJ. CJ, go ahead and say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> say, say, hey, say hey. the part. He said, Hey, hey, baby. I missed you today. <laughs> I missed you so much. I followed you. I followed you. He said, Now be quiet because you're cold busted. <laughs> The juice. <laughs> shout out to the juice, man. <laughs> Listen. Big, big shout out to the juice, y'all. Big shout out to the juice. <laughs> Listen. Oh, Listen. We ain't talking CJ, about OG. CJ know the whole part. Yo, I was like, wait man. a minute. I don't even know the whole part. He said my he said my first he said my first reaction was the uh so run up on you, run up on you. He said, run, "Run up on you and pull out the jammy and flat blast both of you." <laughs> but I chilled. But I, I chilled. chilled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this show on podcast. Oh my gosh, yo, like, you know I mean, but I mean, you you can tell no lie. That man was hurt. Listen, like you man. can hear the hurt in his voice. Have, That's why I, I'm telling you now. Men love harder than women. Listen, have you ever I had? Think that, so? Have you? Hell ever, yeah! Have you ever had that happen to you? Either one of y'all, like, had that happen where you, you, you found your partner cheating, like in the moment? And I'm like, nope. Uh, I nah, have. nah, I haven't. I have. Nope. Reason why I turned into a savage. Oh, I don't remember what yeah, I was maybe seventeen. That's when, that's when you became the president. So listen, president of the <laughs> what listen. is it? What is it called? The what association? The. the, the uh, <laughs> The National uh, Cheaters of America Association. <laughs> on the on association. Mm -hmm. I, re I remember it vividly. I ain't never going to let another, I'm another never, woman hurt you again. Another woman. I'm going to get you before you get me. Plan never B. Never say pl never. Plan, plan B is going to be plan A. Ain't that, ain't that a Justin Bieber? And that's you when never he became the president. Never. And that's when I went right to president <laughs> status. <laughs> I skipped all the other branches. I went right oh, to God. the top. He said branches. Yeah. <laughs> He said, he said I, I don't need to be he voted just, in. Nope. He went from the bottom and promoted all the way what, to president. What did, yeah. did Biggie say? I'm not only the client, I'm the, I'm player, the president. Player, player president. And that's where I went with it. Oh, man. G in the building, y'all. What's good, G? What's good, broski? What's up? Yeah, I mean, good G. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man, Jerry, in the building. Yeah, you know I mean, so are we starting the video number number three? We got yeah, we video can. number three let's on go. deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's All right, man. This is what we got for. Do I got to set up? Do I got? Yes, I do. See, video don't number blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. That's because you be every week. You always say, make sure you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I ain't going to say nothing. You should already know now. Like, I mean, look, it is what it is. That's I don't right. have to keep telling you. Yeah, I mean, low, stay ready. I Just stay be ready now. Prepared. That's right. I know. <laughs> I'm preparing. <laughs> no, not preparing. <laughs> Be prepared. Yeah, I hear. Uh, listen, so a girlfriend confronts a man when she finds out that he's been running up an OF charges on their joint account. Let that man live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Let that man live, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but when is All right, let's it's just Mr. The video. Podcast. Oh. Aww. Let's go. Why there are multiple charges on our joint account? So only f do you want to explain? The weirdest thing happened today. I was in Ikea, shopping, getting some furniture. Get to the till, waited for ages. Go to pay, card declines. This is so embarrassing in front of everyone. And I'm like, oh, I swear there's money in the account. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, everything's fine. So I'm like, what? I had to leave everything. It was so embarrassing. Get home. And then I look and see that I've got an email from the bank. And it said that something about like, my card being declined, fraudulent activity, multiple transactions, something anyway. So I call up the bank and I'm like, hey, can you send me something, please? So I can just like see what's going on. Get it through. Multiple. And I, and I mean multiple. Like, this looks like a joke. Multiple transactions to only what on earth is going on? Because that's not me, and it's in our joint account. Something you want to tell me? No. Something you've been up to recently that you've not told me about, maybe? Did you hear what happened to me in uh, Ikea? No. No, yeah, uh, card got declined. Oh, right. Suspicious activity on the account. Does that ring a bell? You called the bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why, what did they say? Well, um, <laughs> I was hoping you were going to tell me. You were going to be honest with me. Why are there multiple charges on our joint account that we have together to only f Do you want to explain? I'm giving you free reign here. Yeah, uh, it's clearly someone's hacked the account then. 
Chitty spam, might have had a data leak somewhere. There's laws going about at the minute. So it's not you? Clearly just been brought up in my name or something like that. Stop, like that. just tell me! Or something, I don't... I've what? got proof! Right, I'm alright then, what so-called proof is this then? Emails from multiple accounts that you subscribe to. See, just tell me the truth! Alright. Am I not good enough for you? More what? What's, what? what's wrong with that? We've been together for three years. Right. We're so saving for a house! Not f***ing anyone, is it? Why are you on only when you've got a girlfriend? Uh, people watch all the time. And? It's the same thing, is it not? In fact, it's probably better than that. What do you mean it's better than that? Well, you don't know where any of these videos are coming from, do you? You know exactly where these content creators are coming from, don't you? So you know I'm actually going to make this a lot easier for you. I'm going to go out for an hour. You're going to pack your shit and you're going to get out because me and you are over. No, let's just talk No, about we're this. over. Come on. No. This. I'm, not being talk about it. I'm not being treated like that. What? Get your I stuff off and you. Pack your stuff and get out. I got questions, and the first okay. question I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask our, our viewers, and I'm going to ask, T, I, I want you to answer this first question. I'm listening. So, do you think that there's something wrong within their relationship for him to be turned into OnlyFans and looking at it? I mean, is it is, it, no, is there something wrong No, it doesn't with necessarily it? have to be anything wrong for him to be watching OnlyFans. Like, if he likes porn, I'm pretty sure he was probably watching it way before they got together. And then yeah. number two, if if it's a joint account, that's his money too. How are you going to restrict him from spending the money way, the way he wants to? So I guess the issue is, is maybe he should have been doing those charges from his personal account. That way she shouldn't have found out. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong. Like that's that's completely healthy sometimes for not only men, but for women to watch porn. Yeah. What, what, what about you? you anything, anything wrong? Anything wrong looking at corn? Oh, um, my fault we can't say can't say the few words so we gotta say corn i mean to me like <laughs> at the end of the day and the ladies may not like me when i say this but seems like she may have a little self-esteem issue because again if he's watching corn or if he's on of doing his thing her first question was well am i not enough what right what did you, you say am i not good enough for what does that have to do with anything like just because i watch corn that don't mean that you ain't enough for me like it's just too much internalizing for me so that's just weird number one number two always have your own account well you want to do some weird stuff or some dirty stuff or some kinky stuff or you want to get drunk and you want to spend 60 dollars on a case of beer have your own money in your own account so that way she don't even know and you don't even get right. in trouble right. not yeah. like a being sneaky thing but it's like this is my money to spend on whatever i want right. so that way you don't even mess up the joint account number two number three at the end of the day always fellas listen always show the corn to the woman first and let her know i am an avid corn watcher <laughs> yeah i like big booty women bouncing in oil <laughs> would you like to watch <laughs> and see what With she me? says hey. if she says no then wait for her to get into the shower and when she gets out to come in the room, make sure you have on the big booty women bouncing in oil so you can see her real reaction. And then that way, there's no lying because she knows this is a part of who you are. Hey, let's make a video, yeah. too. No, no. Oh. no, no. <laughs> okay. see, see, this is the one thing. This is one thing that cracks me up. In the first part of the video, she said, I'm giving you free reign. He should admit it. Right he should admit it. But then he can't. But he did come clean. No, he took too and long. And then she was like, well, uh, you got to get out. You, you got to get out. He took too long. He, he should have just soon yeah, as she but said. I, still, I still think that she was a little bit unreasonable. Like, I mean, come on. Like, yeah. to me, like the way he was like, he was like, come on, let's just talk about it. Like, I think they could have resolved that. But obviously, she was just being a little unreasonable with that. I really think she was. Again, I could see if he, if he was, you know, $40 prostitute. And, then, you know, that that's different. <laughs> It's yeah. just a video, just video now, again. So no. this is this is where my issue lies at. Yes, it's a joint account. He spent a lot of money. Did you see Yo, all to, the to constant get, charges? To get the car to car? So <laughs> hey, yes, it's a joint account. Up. Meaning, I'm putting my money in there, and you're putting your money in there too. So therefore, not only did you spend my money, you spent yours. But that's too. what yeah, I'm saying. That's yeah. where he should have just had his own little kinky it's, money. Right. Keep your kinky money to keep, yourself. Keep, uh, Samuel said, "Hell no, see that you tripping? That would get you left 99.9 .9 percent of the no, time. You got right, it. Well, <laughs> no, you got it. Listen. It depends on the chick that you're dealing with. Because let me tell well, you well, something." Well, you should know if you got a freaky hey, chick, right? Hey, it should, but listen, if, if, if you turn on a if you turn on some corn, 
Hey, what's that? <laughs> so listen, <laughs> but it shit it shouldn't even depend on the woman that you got. Like, wait like, a minute, I'm like, wait a minute, that that look that look that look a little good. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> a little visualizations hey, over here. <laughs> can you touch me right there like that? <laughs> This John Pot, huh? <laughs> this John after dark. Huh? <laughs> we done turned to the Skinamax over here. <laughs> Quick, oh, yeah, I mean, we done turned to that shit when you fall asleep and you wake up. What is? What, what is on? Well, how did this what, get on? What, what, when did this come on? Is that a? Is that an areola? What, what, what happened? To when this? did this come on? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it shouldn't it shouldn't matter what type of woman you with. You should just be honest. Like if that's your thing, you should tell her like, "Listen, I watch corn. This is my thing." And then she has the right to say, "Well, I do like it or I don't." But then she can't judge you for, you know, you liking what you like. It's just like, I don't, I just don't get the in, the internalization of it. Well, does that mean that I'm not enough? What? Yeah, yeah. What do they yeah. got to do with anything? No, she yeah, with that like part, she, she definitely over, to overreact. Like, yeah, really yeah, like, what? But then, again, it, just just like you said, and both of you said, you should always have your own money. Mm-hmm. First of all, as a man, you should not be moving with another woman. I'm sorry. I am... Oh not man, I, I like, stand look, ten toes I just, I just down had this on that. Conversation with my son, I'm like, look, no man own. should not be moving, moving in with no. Now you can get a crib together. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. about to but say, but that right. that move. I remember yeah. my grandmother told me she had never moved. My mom told female. me that I made that mistake, and then guess who had to get out? You. Yup. My stuff was never in, did it. My stuff was that. in the snow. She took a picture of Look, my stuff in I've the snow. I've known chicks that put said, bleach oh, on no, guys' stuff. That. But, but that, that stuff be uh on on fire in the trash. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. shit. Worse, they give your shit to another man. Oof! Are those my Jordans? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank God I don't wear everybody's socks. <laughs> you if I see a, a man, well, listen. I'm getting you jumped. I can't hit you because you're a woman, but I'm getting my cousins to jump you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> this IG said, I tell all my kids all the time, have your own shit. That's yeah. right. I mean, I won't, mm. now, I mean, like I said, you can get something together, but damn all that moving in, man. This joint mm-hmm. podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Definitely. Yeah, you know I mean, so where, oh, where we at? Where we are? We at number four. We, yeah, we at there number four. Go. And You're I got prepared. it. I got there it. You ready. Go. Not prepared. Yeah, then nah, it's ready. <laughs> I got it ready, woman. Got it ready. This joint podcast. We in the building. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you say, CJ? We in the building. Yeah. All right. Video number four. <laughs> he, wait a minute. Quick, you hear him? He got that. He got that. No, no. That Barry, that Barry voice. That, no, that. I, don't, no, I don't have that, the baritone. That ain't me. He's yeah. trying to get back to that laid back. Uh-huh. Like That's called the panty dropper. <laughs> that's, that's what I was about to say. That's the voice that he be talking. Hey, like, that's hey, the panty what dropper. You, what you doing? Would you like me to be? <laughs> hey. I could be Siri on your phone. Mm-hmm. Instead of Siri. <laughs> like you coming over tonight? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Hey, y'all turned this into the quiet storm. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Damn. Oh man, video number four. So we got a lesbian. Can we say? Can we say the L word? No, we can't say the L word. Uh, thesbian. Okay, yeah, all right. No, we can say. We're that. sorry, YouTube. No, you can say that. You can say that. We're gonna stick with that. Uh, We're safe. So we got a. We have a thesbian <laughs> that's trying to get child support from the sperm donor. Don't donor donor <laughs> after mm. her girlfriend broke up with her. So wait a minute. We have a yeah. thespian, a thespian who is trying to get child support yep. from the sperm donor yep. that she got th- that she had to conceive the child. Yep. I thought I heard After it. After her all. and her her girlfriend broke up. I thought I didn't hear it all. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Let's let people nope. kick this off. Ain't no such thing as heard at all, it's especially when it comes to the this job podcast. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't sperm donors have to pay child support? Back in 2018, I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I wanted kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, Just give me, you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. So now I'm trying to get the sperm donor to pay child support because biologically he is my daughter's parent. So I want him to give me his half. I don't know what to do at this point. I just think it's really messed up that somebody can just go donate sperm and then have nothing else to do with the kid that comes from it. Can I just say something real quick? Go ahead. Go ahead. ahead, Say something. 
And then I'm going to let you say something. Yeah. And then I'm going to follow up. Mm-hmm. How come McDonald's don't pay for my toilet paper when they food give me diarrhea? <laughs> How come McDonald's is not just responsible don't, don't to, get, to pay for my toilet paper because they food give me diarrhea? That's the same thing she just said. That makes no sense. Go ahead. Makes no sense at all. <laughs> now, wait. Now, I had to look this up. So, in Pennsylvania, I'm wondering, in Pennsylvania, sperm donors are not required to pay child support for children conceived with their sperm, even if the donation, hold on, let me, let me, let me even if the donation was not anonymous, the Supreme yeah, because Court has I, ruled. It's, it's a contract. Yeah. Like they're they're not legally responsible to 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 just like the child. Like once the child is born, they're not legally responsible to to any heir of that that nah, uh, donor it, yeah. estate or anything like that. Is is a is what it's it, exactly what it is a donation. I didn't now, ask now, you now, to but, take if like you said the contract between two people conceive children through intercourse. And that the contract is entered into before conception. And yeah, I looked that up because I thought that no, no matter what contract you have, if you are the sperm donor or the child or the fa- the father of that no. child, you got to pay. No, no, they're not responsible. Yeah, they, they, like, oh, signed, they signed those. They <clears throat> signed those those contracts and those agreements with the the agency. As long as it's a legal donation. Now, if you just did something with somebody and it's your friend or whatever, hey, you know what? Y'all got to work that out. But if you went through a sperm bank, they are not legally responsible to take care of those child those children. They are not legally. They they don't even go on the birth certificate. None of that. Yeah. So I don't even know why she thinks that. And I'm pretty sure if she would have read the documentation that the that the agency gave her, it would it would have pointed that out as well. Yeah. She, she's slow. At the end yeah. of the day, she's slow because it just don't even make sense. Because, <laughs> again, they don't you did not. You could have picked Tyrone's sperm. You could have picked uh, Doogie Hauser's sperm. It could have been anybody. So how are you going? You're the one choosing. You chose the sperm. So how are you going to try to make me out to be the the, the I got to pay now because you because, chose my sperm. Yeah, well, because y'all relationship broke up. No, I'm talking yeah, about the donor. That. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not like she's trying to make him baby because their relationship broke up. Yeah, and that's not and the, that's not their fault. Yeah, yeah the the people other woman donate. is not obligated. Now. Right, people no. people people would have the people have to realize is people donate to help people in situations and her situations like that mm-hmm. let's say for women that have hard times you know conceiving or, or their men husband, who have low sperm or count. husbands that have a hard time or boyfriends whatever the case may be so those donations help families and people like her or like that you and and, and once they get that donation they are completely separated from the any obligation whatsoever yeah well yeah because i isn't isn't it true because i'm i'm unsure about this isn't it true that that the donor don't know where his sperm went? No, I don't so, think they do so tell for, him. Yeah, they don't tell him. So wouldn't that be like an emotional roller coaster? If somebody just knock on your door and be like, "Well, you now you got to pay child." What? Yeah, but st- no, they can't. They can't force them. And at the end of the day, how would they even find out where did the sperm come from? Where it come yeah, from? Yeah, they don't give yeah. you. They can't give because you the, personal the, information. Yeah, because the the bank doesn't give that information out unless somebody works there and then you know you know um, giving information that they're not supposed to. Yeah, it, 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 listen, it sounds like white privilege to me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That just sounds like some old privilege. Oh, just because I know you have to help me. No, yeah. you chose to get into a relationship with a thespian and then conceive a child that that other thespian said, Listen, I don't want no parts of this. So, guess what? Then you should have did it once y'all got married, and then they would have been legally responsible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just, it, it's just messed up because your relationship didn't work. So now. You have to take care of a child on your I mean, own. The, the scenario could be the, can be any what anything. It, not, I'm not even pointing out whether somebody's lesbian or not because it could be anybody. So I don't agree with that point because it could be somebody that is you know and they having issues mm-hmm. conceiving. No, but I'm just saying on the strength of if she had if she wasn't lesbian. And she was a regular hetero. And, and, and then you could have picked the person you want and you could have did all of that and did it the right Not way. Not true, because if she's heterosexual or whatever and she's having issues conceiving, and see, that's the that's the, what you're not understanding from a female perspective. There are some women, just like but, men, that have issues but we conceiving. Can't, I'm not going on. I'm not going off the hypothetical. She didn't say there that she had conception problems. She just was saying because she said because I'm a I'm a thespian. She went to a sperm bank. So if she wasn't 
thespian, she wouldn't have had to do that. That's I'm just going off of that preface. I don't know what her situation is. I don't, I'm not. I don't really want to get into her, you know, fertility yeah, issues it's, it's, or not. It's a, it's a touchy sub subject. It just if you was doing it the regular way, it'd probably be a little bit easier. But you can't go to this man now that you did. You went your way. You did it yeah. the way you wanted to. That man ain't he ain't he ain't responsible for that. Next, keep it moving. Like now you a single <laughs> mom. Sorry. No, no. Again, <laughs> you can't do nothing because again two women can't conceive so you should have been thinking all this out before you just went and went ahead and did all this you didn't ask the other your other thesmian partner hey if we if we were to separate would you help me take care of this kid? you didn't do none of that you didn't do none of that we so don't now, know what, now, we so don't now, know she said that she said that the woman said yeah, that said, once we broke I'm up not, said, I'm, I'm not obligated so you could tell they didn't have that, that conversation they didn't have that talk yeah because she or, said or that paperwork Right, that's yeah, what I'm that's saying. Right. Or that pay, like, well, yeah, listen, if you they, leave me, yeah, see, you because, still obligated to take care of this well, child. Because they're not legally married, she still isn't responsible. If they're a girlfriend and girlfriend, like, she's she but, can't force her. But now, do you think even if they were legally married, you you still think that she's legally responsible? If they didn't have it in, I don't, in, I don't within, know enough within about a contract, that. no. Yeah, not, now I believe you got to have that within yeah, a contract. Yeah. You have to say that, and even though we marry, I'm going to be uh, find uh, what is it legally and physically responsible for this child. For the child. Yeah, mm, ain't that something? Boy? And you yeah, learn so something every day. So man. many things are changing now these days. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say that I know enough about that specific topic to really say. Yeah. You know, hey, this is your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, so we have video number video number five. Mm. Yeah, and I'm ready. Okay. I say I say ready because I get ready. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's what you got. You gotta do all that. Oh my god. That. And I give you about a good twenty five to <laughs> is it fifth no fifteen, twenty five good pumps <laughs> before I'm ready to tap out. <laughs> I guess so. Doing all that, oh, you wear yourself it all out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta I'm tapping out. You gotta and wear the, her out too. Yeah, hey. you gotta do the usher. You gotta take it nice and slow. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, girl, where your rose at? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, I need to get me one of those. Whoa, oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah, we gonna say that. Oh, Mr. Hot Javier over here. Once we set up the Patreon, we'll set up those episodes. Y'all got to pay for those. Yes, yeah, definitely members only. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely members only. <laughs> All right, man. Video number five. So wait, but do I? I don't have it. Uh, damn, I thought I had it ready. Uh, here we go. Here we go. See, he said he was ready. He wasn't ready. Uh, just like most men, a lot. That's ice cold right there. <laughs> you mean yeah. all men? Yeah. No. You said and, most men. You and, mean all and, men? I'm no and and, and just like most women, y'all fell for it. <laughs> I ain't fall for shit. Intuition. <laughs> 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 Intuition. <laughs> Intuition may tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Quick. They, they gaming up on you. <laughs> yeah, Come get them. Just your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, where you at? The last video of the night. A woman says that the, what is it? The Meg, Meg, the, Stallion, Meg Challenge. the Stallion Challenge is devaluating women saying that it's tacky. We've seen y'all asses <laughs> in every angle. <laughs> and she ain't lying. Ain't that what y'all like? Seen it from the top, from the bottom. From the top to the bottom. It's in the silhouette. Now we here. <laughs> All right, where, where we at? Where peanut at? Nothing is left to the imagination anymore. It's Miss Jump Podcast. Dad. Oh. Let's go. Y'all call it the Meg the Stallion Challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not going to hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass. For what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all ass from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. 
Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. Some of these, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge. Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here selling yourselves short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you got to be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Men used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this. To fantasize about stuff like this. To desire women to move in certain ways like this. But now all they got to do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they got to do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking their ass, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Because who y'all doing it for? Oh, we ain't doing this for the man. Who you doing it for then? Y'all got to stop and think, man. Because it's not giving what y'all think is giving. It's giving very low quality. No man of high quality. The men that y'all desire, the men that y'all swear y'all want, I promise you, he going to treat you nothing like what you want to be treated like because no man wants to see that woman up there or a woman up there that he looking at to pursue in a serious way, shaking her ass 24-7 on the internet like that. Y'all want to be quick to say we're not doing it for the men, but baby, one day you going to want a man and he not going to want you. Because in 2024, you up there shaking your ass for likes and attention. It's not that deep, man. I don't know if y'all lacking a, a, some type of self-esteem or what, man. But y'all going to have to pull back and reevaluate some stuff. It's not cute no more, y'all. It's played out. Stop. Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me give it to her, man. Okay, yeah, I made. I made her. I, 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 I like her. I like her. I, she went viral a couple of times. Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. You know what I mean? And they call her pick me, man. They of call course. Her what? A pick, pick me. I pick her. I, t- t- I, I big boy. With the first pick of the draft. The first CJ, pick of the draft. CJ T. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nose Listen. picker number one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, I understand what she's saying. Like, as a man, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. When you see those in your algorithm, you're like, oh, God. Damn, like, yeah, it catches your eye, but yeah, like after a while I, you scroll right past. Or, it, or if I'm if I'm pursuing a woman, I don't want, I don't want her to, I don't want, I don't want her to be able to show everybody else something that that's supposed to be you know sacred but, to me. Yeah, like they yeah. always say, a key that can unlock any lock is a master key, but a lock that can be opened with any key is useless. So it's like, mm-hmm. again, I, I, I watched this video, this um, this Muslim uh, guy. He said, you know why we, we, we uh, have our women garb up? He said, because when you think about the most precious things in the world, precious stones, precious gems, precious artifacts. He said, what are they? They're encased yeah. in some kind of glass or some kind of covering because they're so special. We don't want anybody to touch it. And it's like, that's how we see women. Like, if you if you could show it to everybody, why is it special to me? What makes me want to uh, what, what makes me want to take yeah, it? Yeah, because you're not you now you're showing it to everybody. Right. You know, now, you know, what I mean, it just to me, it's, it's, it's just weird how like y'all like you want to be naked on like out in the open. And it's just yeah. like, what makes that what makes you because now if all the women, not all, if, if, if most of the women, when you go somewhere, if most of them are naked, what makes you special out in the naked bunch? Nothing. It's not, now now we looking saying. for the now we looking for the girl that's the opposite. Well, damn, the outfit she has on. If she had that on compared to the other stuff that other the other women are wearing, the panties she, and bras. She you mean? gonna stand out because it's like damn, it's panties and bras. You know, yeah. yeah. She got a little bit of cleavage, a little bit of stomach, some shoulders, nothing major. It's like. It, it just is to me. I don't understand what the fascination of being naked. I understand being liberated. The and fascination comes from the, the, the attention that the they attention get that, from yeah. y'all men, and that's why they keep doing but it. But here's the thing: the attention is not the attention you really want, because if you know, it, it, but obviously they don't think so because the the they get the attention, and maybe that's what they're seeking. Maybe that they they have this low confidence and because they're getting all these likes and and all this attention and all these men in their inbox. Yeah, but how many how many men is trying to like 
hold him down. Yeah. Well, well, how many men is trying to wife him? Like uh, no, the majority, no, no. the majority, not that, completely not that many. Yeah, the majority of men want uh, yeah. want to smash you. Um, all of them basically. But it's like how many of them really want to take you serious and take you out of that yeah. that that environment that you in and, and make you the the woman and 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 give you your your wildest dreams and desire. Not well, too many men want to do that. Well, T, let me ask you what what generation do you think failed these youth? Because I know when when I was I young, would, when I, I was would. young, it was you know you really had to put in some work. I don't to really it's, it's get a girl. So what generation? See, that's you the think? thing. It's it's all of them. It's not it's not just the younger generation because it's it's our generation I, I'm talking, too. Are you, our, our generation saying is is ones that failed no, these I, youth. I don't think it's our generation. I think it's partly our generation. But I think it's just the invention of social media. Right. Where you yeah. can go. The Social media allows anybody that has any type of mindset. So like the last video, the woman with the with the uh, with the um, sperm donor, she had that kind of mindset. She puts that out into the social media. And guess what? People who have that same mindset will say, oh, see, look, we got other people that agree with us. And now they do it. Yeah. And so it's the same thing. You you uh, I just seen a woman who was at her son's funeral. With a small skirt on, twerking mm. on the casket. What? You gotta be kidding me! And again, it's like that behavior. Yeah, she'll just be like, "Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. This, uh, you know, I'm doing it." And then somebody else will see it and be like, "Oh, damn, she was doing it. All right, cool, I'll do it." Yeah. And then it just becomes a snowball effect. So that's just where I think it is. You can go on social media and find your audience. Is, is majority of these women, they'll sit there and say, "Oh, yeah, queen, yeah, queen." No. That's not how queens carry themselves. Well, I, listen, I could t- I could tell you what what really struck a nerve when she said, "There's no need to go to a strip club because you can pull that up and down your feet." And I'm like, "Oh shit!" You know that is absolutely true. I remember when I used to date, and you know, I meet a girl. A girl would ask you, "Do you go to a strip club?" I'm like, "No, nah, I, I don't really mess with that." Like I stopped going to strip clubs years ago. Now, strip clubs come to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's you right there, it's you right open there, up, it's yeah, right there at your fingertips. Yo, you go open up Instagram and you looking at booties and titties all. You over, ain't even got to open up Instagram. You could go out on a warm Friday night. W- wait until the summer hits and it's you know that first eighty degree Friday night. <laughs> Look, we ain't even got to wait till summer hits. It was just warm <laughs> yeah. recently and everybody was yeah, wearing their can, their panties. Yeah, and you can see it. I remember being a young and being like you know being a little creepy. Like you see a girl, you like damn. I wonder what she looked like with them clothes off. And you just imagine it. It's nothing now but the imagination imagine. anymore. It's I nothing see, left to the imagination. I can see your areolas. Like, oh, damn, okay. Nice big. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, girl. I see you got the super dollar pancakes <laughs> out. <laughs> so like, literally, like, they wear <laughs> <laughs> stockings. Yeah, stockings. Yeah, I mean. it's, it's, it's a pair of pants. Yeah, like, yeah it's that's like your ridiculous. It's, 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 to me, it's like they... That stuff don't go nowhere. So, nah. yeah, twenty five nah. or even thirty. If you even forty, if you forty now, you doing that in twenty years? That stuff still gonna be out there, mm-hmm. and people gonna be like, "Yeah, that's Janine. She was a slore back in the day. You know, she was always naked on the joint." Yeah. Now you can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> Just your podcast, Look, y'all. Said, drop a like, drop a comment. Onyx. Onyx fell on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, listen, listen. Yeah, man. You listen, listen, y'all. Onyx. Tell us what you think. <laughs> Yeah, I may mean, want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. We appreciate y'all through our technical yeah, difficulties, yeah, too. Through the technical yes. difficulties. Make yeah. sure y'all like, comment. Well, y'all been commenting. Y'all been internet thugging Showing with that love. Me. Showing y'all that love. Internet thugging Next with week, me. same yeah, time, same, same place. Time. Same bad Yes. And make sure y'all subscribe. Let Peanut take us home. This Jump Podcast. Oh. Yeah. Deuces, we love y'all. We out.